Good afternoon, my 573 wonderful and appreciated subscribers. What I want to show you today is um, how to remove backgrounds for free to use in Canva or any other app that you want to. Uh, Word, PowerPoint, anything. And you'll be able to save it simply as a PNG, a transparent PNG, and um, scale it, do whatever you want with it. But this is a free program and it comes with Windows 10. And firstly, before we get into it, I mean, I must point out that I do like uh, the Canva um, background remover. I mean, it really leaves a nice clean edge. And uh, well, the only thing I don't like about it, it's very hard to um, correct the image. I mean, it's doable, but uh, even so, I do like the Canva background remover. But it's a premium feature. It's a pro feature. So not everybody uses the pro. But with the Windows 10, well, it comes with Windows 10. And it's really easy to use, so let's do it. So what you want to do first is, in the search bar, at the bottom of your left-hand screen in Windows, your home screen, just type in Paint 3D. The app will come up, click on that, and this, this is what opens. It's as simple as that. If you can use your mouse, you can find that. So we click New. And I've put a little dot there and I've clicked a, a little extra so I can go back, get rid of that little dot. Now the image. We search for our image, we use the insert and we browse for an image that way. And as our computer loads up, I just put it in a file here, background removal. That's the image I'm going to be using. And that was, uh, that was me on an old, a bike ride a few years ago. In, uh, while I was going through Thailand. I've chose this picture because it's quite complicated and it would be a bit of a job for this. So what we can do is we can move this whole image about if we want on this on this background. So we're going to go for Magic Select and then now I will try to get as close as I can to the image I want which is all of us and I'm going to try and remove the background from behind these guys and myself. So, next. Now, you can see what's happened here. It's not really done a completely thorough job. I mean, it's had its work cut out. So, what we can do is we can just zoom in. You can see the zoom by here. Or if you've got a roller on your mouse, just zoom with your roller or use this bar at the top. And we've got two options here, add or remove. Now, I want to add this hat in. So I've clicked on Add, and all I do is, with my left mouse, hold it down and just draw a line to the, the part that I want, and take my finger off the mouse, and there it is. And this guy here, I draw, draw a line, doesn't have to be anything special or fancy. And see here where we've got a bit of a leaf going on? It's included that. We use the remover, and we just draw a line through that section there, and that's it. And um, we can keep going, zooming in and taking little bits out. So you get the hang of it. Well, if you get the idea anyway. And there's me with my hair, so I want to add that in. Okay, cool. And remove that from the behind. Because that's stuck out a little bit there. Without taking my ear off. So I can keep doing that until I've got all these little bits done. Just drawing a line and letting it do its thing. Then take my finger off the mouse, leave it for a second, and those bits will go. Just keep doing that everywhere you have to. Big chunks like this. And just keep going at it until you've got all the bits you need gone. But like I say, I've used quite a complex image. And... Um, just to give you a, a, an idea on this. So, okay, so I'm just going to click done, even though it's far from it there. And we just wait a second. 
Right, okay, and that's that. So let's see what's happened. I can now move this away from the background. And if you like, you can see how the background stayed there. This, this poor guy here uh, has lost his hat. I didn't include his hat. And there's a few things I didn't do. But um, I could have easily spent a lot of, a bit more time just getting rid of all the little bits and pieces. On a less complicated image, if it was just myself there, and maybe not even all this bike frame and things, you know, if it was quite a simple image, or well, this soldier here uh, on his own, then that would have been quite easy. And when you move him, you can see at the background, with this, with this app, it tries to recreate the background. So you can actually move him to a different position on the image. And that's a fabulous, fabulous idea. So, okay, what can we do with it from there? Well, we can right click the mouse, we can copy it, and we can go to a different application. Let's say Word, and we can paste it in. And again, we can move it about and do what we want. As you, as, like I say, I, I mean, I could have spent more time taking them out, but this is just as an example for you. And what else can we do with it? Well, we can go to Canva, where it's a premium feature. But for us in this example, um, it's uh, free using Windows 10. And we can go back to Canva then and use the image we ideally would have liked to have used. So let's just say I paste that in here. And this is an example of a book. Let's just say it's a book cover. I can put these guys in here. And, oops. Stretch them out a little bit. And I've put some ferns in the front there, so I could send them to the back. Bring the fern to the front. And away you go. But I just thought this would be handy for those who don't have the premium version of Can Canva. And who want to use it for other applications as well. And have a little play around with it. If you want to save this image, this foreground away from the background so you can use it in a in other applications um, from a file then what we do is we right click on the image we click copy we go to menu we click new we click don't save and we're given a new canvas to work to we right click the mouse click paste and our image appears on there onto that white canvas and we just sort of drag it about and trim it down and get it in there and zoom back in again and we can move it about however we want now we want to get rid of this white background just so we can leave our characters here and I mean characters right okay so we go to menu and we click save as image now what we want to do is we want to make sure it's a PNG which it is there there are the sizes you can adjust them but keep the uh, aspect ratio locked otherwise these end up dis distorted if you change the sizes if you if you've not changed the sizes equally and so leave everything as it is there click transparency and you can see that white background is now gone. All you do now is save into a file of your choice. I hope that helps.